All right, guys, so recently we added a little coffee maker to the office. It was, you know, kind of just a piece that was extremely necessary to uh, top tier success. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. I'm back in the good, good office. Don't freak out. Okay, this is gonna be a good video. I know that kind of there was a lot of office content and maybe it was a little bit, maybe it was a little bit saturated, but today I'm working on something that is a little SAP, a little uh, service announcement to the public here. I recently, we recently were with Kyle Berkshire. There was a time about a year ago, a little, little less than a year ago, where me and him working together, wanted to compete in some long drive stuff. We did a couple videos together. He was doing some speed training with me. Basically, he ended up moving back to Maryland and he is he is since you know obviously he won the world long drive again the man is an absolute beast he's the fastest man in the world for a reason he's just incredible athlete you know I kind of announced that I was gonna do some long drive stuff and then you know it kind of I guess it kind of ended without an explanation so basically that's what this is today is I'm kind of kind of rekindle that not necessarily it's rekindling it for you guys i never stopped training still do speed training probably once a week me and kyle were talking and he was like man i really want you to do some long drive stuff even if it's just for even if it's just for fun you know just get out there and you know it's it's just it's a super cool environment and obviously bryson's doing it now and i want to i want to at least compete in one uh long drive pldA event just to say I did it, just because I think it would be super fun, and you never know. I mean, I, I feel like I hit a couple good balls. I might I might actually be able to be able to rank somewhere on the on the whatever it's called. I've recently been feeling a little extra fast, so today I'm gonna try to hit a ball over 400 yards for the you know for the first time. I am going to be on the simulator. I think they had the first event, and it was in Arizona somewhere on you know the long drive grid out there. So that's where I'm gonna be today on the simulator. Yes, the elevation is a little bit higher, but I'm gonna be competing in the same elevation and conditions that they recently competed out in Arizona. So I'm gonna get that set up. I'll show you what driver I'm using today. It's kind of a crappy old beat up one. So I need to get I need to get a new one. More information on that coming soon. Big announcement coming, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, that's about it. Let's get into it. This is the club I'm gonna be using for most of the day. It's a long drive club. This is actually Bubby's. It, it's pretty beat up. The face is honestly probably caved in because I've hit it so much. But I'm gonna be hitting this one, and this is, you know, it's it's longer, so I can get more club head speed, which is my goal why I'm using that instead of like instead of my driver. I'm just representing all of the people who are not quite as tall out there. Okay, I'm the shortest in good good by about an inch. Matt's about an inch taller than me. I'm right at like five foot eight and a half, and I weigh 170 pounds. Obviously, this driver is like 48 inches long, so it's I'm really not much taller than this driver. This driver and me have a lot in common. So let's get into it and uh, see if I can get hit, see if I can hit a ball really far. You're gonna be able to see my speed in the top right hand of the corner here. And uh, this is in Arizona, so yeah, the ball's gonna go a little farther, but it would be if I was hitting out there anyway. Obviously that is out of the grid. I think that's out of the grid again. But speeding up a little bit, 192 on the second swing, that's really not too bad. I'm really focusing on like more more compact, steady, efficient swing versus just having to like absolutely swing out of my shoes. 193. This is still spinning a little much because I'm, you know, gotta gotta get that spin down, so it's probably not gonna be going too far yet. I mean, 370, it's really not too bad. <laughs> it was actually flying pretty well, so I'm I'm feeling good. We might might be thinking might be thinking more than 400 here. That was really, really freaking hard. 197 ball speed, not quite flighted like I want it to be, a little spinny. Cut a little bit, because this one is huge. Look at that, that's even, that's the farthest one yet, it's just not in the grid. I think once I get warmed up and I get up to around two, 200, probably hopefully just above 200 ball speed, I think we're gonna be working with something. <laughs> Bounce back in the grid for me, come on. Oh my gosh. Guys, 203 ball speed. That is the fastest recorded ball speed that I've had on camera. Woo, that feels good. Guys, we might be working with something here. 
That was out of the grid, but it was like 390. All right, guys, I'm getting warm, feeling good. I've hit, I've hit a couple monsters, 203. I'm looking to get, I think I can get to 205. 200, baby, come on. Don't be spinning. Don't be spinning. It's a little bit spinning. See, when it's spinning, it just absolutely kills it. That's another 200 in a two, that's two 200s in a row. This has got to go though, it's got to run. That's my farthest one on the grid. Three, three, 391, two, three, four, 394. Farthest one in the grid. Yes! 24 balls in, I've hit 203 ball speed. My farthest one in the grid's 397. I'm going, I'm going big here. You can do better. I'm not hitting it in the center of the face, and that's why I'm not optimizing that. I mean, 202 ball speed up the cast, the 200 mark, which is good. <sighs> 204 again, come on, this is sliding too. 205, that's my fastest recorded ball speed. It's just not in the grid. I just gotta straighten those out, guys. I'm hitting it freaking far. There was a time not long ago when I feel like I was, I was almost like hurting myself swinging this fast. But I feel super compact. I'm not like spinning out. I feel strong doing this. I don't feel like it's it's hard right now. 205. Give me 206. Give me 206. 138. Okay, come on. Go. Go. Oh, this was optimized. Come on. 97. I know what you're doing. Yes. That is the longest ball I've ever hit. 406. Let's go. I'm not done yet. 205 ball speed. Oh, that feels good. Come on. Way spinning. That was a terrible, terrible golf shot. I wish I could redo it. 202 again, just spinning. Man, I hit that so good. Just don't think it's quite fast enough. 390. Alright, so I'm gonna do the math for myself to know what I'm what I'm capable of. So 137 club head, and then if you do that times 1.5, which is the perfect smash, it gives you the fastest ball speed I could hit with that. So 137 times 1.5 equals 205.5. And I have hit 138. So I can get to 206 if I if I optimize this. So that gives me that gives me a good goal here. <sighs> nope. Oh, that was fast. 202. It's spinny! Quick, 138. I just optimize it. <sighs> 204 and it's flat again. It's just not freaking 205. <sighs> That's perfect. 201. There it goes. It's actually staying pretty straight. No. Gotta get back in the groove here. I really do need a taller tee. No excuses. Just freaking hit the ball hard. Just, it's, it's, it's just spinning too much. That is just destroying me. Come on, you gotta swing it out. Two o three. That's good. Two o four. Come on, that's weak. Go! Dude, if this tee didn't quit falling off this freaking ball. Huh? Ah, nope. 407 is the number to beat. 205 ball speed. If I could hit 206, I would be really happy with that. I've hit a couple absolute piss missiles here, but I know I got, I know I can do more. 204, if it stays in the grid. Oh, come on, go! Carry. Run, baby. Run, baby. Ah, it's 390. Oh, it could be the biggest one. It could be the fastest ball speed. 206, baby! Get a good bounce. Get a good bounce. Come on. Come on. Go! 
eight, nine, ten. Guys, that feels so freaking good. 206 ball speed. 206, 409 total. 410 was my goal. Come on. Ah, just got a little, come on. Flying these balls is the key that's gonna be able to, if I compete in long drive, being able to fly the ball and let it run forever. Because I'm not gonna have the fastest ball speed, probably, I'm not gonna have the fastest ball speed ever, period. But if I can fly these and I can hit a couple good bounces, I can maybe make some noise. That's a good flight. It's just a little spinning. Guys, I've given myself six more tries. I have hit my personal best ball speed and the farthest ball I've ever hit in this long drive grid. It's in Arizona, so the elevation is higher, so this is just the way it is out there, right? So don't be mad at me for it. But I give myself six more. My goal is 140 club head speed. And I just wanna I just wanna hit that and have that benchmark for myself going into the future. One thirty-eight. Come on. That was trash. It was flighty good though. Could this be it? Could this be one thirty-eight? Could this be my longest one yet? Go, get a big bounce. It is just high. Oh, that was I, that was so close to being perfect. So far left. <laughs> My swings are getting a little fatigued now, you can probably see because I'm I'm right around that probably 50 to 55 mark and this just is, I tell you, I have such a respect for Kyle. The man can go so many shots at these incredible speeds. He's just a little different, but here we go. That is not optimized. 138, last swing of the day, come on. I don't know if it was the hat. It was a nice collaboration of things there. Um, feeling good though, I'm feeling, I mean, that's the fastest I've ever swung a golf club and it really is, it feels good. I mean, that was that was awesome. <laughs> it's always cool to hit a, to hit a new goal, uh, both for distance wise and ball speed. Moving the club around one, I mean, I hit a, I hit a lot of balls over 200 miles an hour, which is honestly just, it's it's really cool. And I've, I've worked really hard and I've, you know, learned how to, learned how to make my swing very efficient. I'll keep you guys, guys updated on when I want to go to one of these events. I'm going to talk to Kyle. It's just a lot of fun and it really, it really just kind of, it just, it just pushes me to honestly be better. You know, this is not necessarily something I want to, I don't want to pursue long drive as a career. Obviously, profe like professional golf is, is my, my biggest passion, but this is something that is, is super fun. I think it would make some really cool content and you never know. I want to go out there and see, you know, if I can, if I get in one of these vents and I flight some balls well and I hit a couple really, really good ones, you know, I may be able to play somewhere, somewhere. I mean, I just, I don't really have any expectations, I guess, but this was awesome. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in. Bit of a shorter video, um, but there's a, I have a match with Grant coming on Friday. So stay tuned. It's going to be awesome. We're playing stroke play, 18 holes, part one, part two, and uh, it's going to be, going to be a lot of fun. So thanks for tuning in. Drop a comment down below and uh, let me know what you enjoyed. Let me know how I could possibly, you know, swing faster and be more efficient in my swing. Um, but thanks for tuning in. I love you guys. Thanks for all the support. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, I don't know what you're doing. So subscribe. See you. Bye.